I was diagnosed with stage 4 metastatic breast cancer at the age of 36 and told that I had a 2-3% to chance of survival for 5 years. I thought, I have to pull out all the stops. This is not a game. This is my life. I have a lot to live for. It's not over. When I was diagnosed, there weren't a lot of options that were FDA approved that offered any hope. I had no idea what biotechnology was, what the biotechnology industry was, what they even did before I was diagnosed with cancer. Thank goodness they are doing what they're doing because without biotechnology, I don't think I'd be sitting here right now. I don't think I'd be able to give hope to others. I wrote Bigger Than Pink the book I couldn't find when I was diagnosed with stage four metastatic breast cancer because I wanted a book that gave me hope. I wanted a book written by someone who had been there that could help give hope to other people. I started reading the first book and it, it was so good that I couldn't put it down. And I felt like I had finally met someone who related to my story. Reading her books has given me hope knowing that I can live 11 more years, 15 more years, 20 more years. Cancer has not defined my life, nor will it ever. I have so many beautiful friends. I feel like I am the luckiest girl in the world because of my friends and my family. What Lori does give is a sense of, this can be done. You're going to be all right. I'm a very happy person, despite setbacks. and. I just feel like every day we wake up, we have a decision to make. We can decide to be happy and live life to the fullest, or we can be negative. If I'm happy, I can make everyone I love happy. And that's what I live for, just to see smiles on faces and um, to impact lives in a powerful and positive way. I mean, it, it amazes me at how positive she is all the time with all of the hard things she's been through in her life. It really is truly amazing and inspiring. Once treatment's over, you have to, to keep fighting. The journey's not over once the treatment's over. In my mind, the journey has just begun. The biotechnology industry can't stop what they're doing, ever, never. They have to keep pushing. They have to, to know that they're on the brink of cures for not just cancer, but all illnesses. The scientists behind closed doors, the funders behind the, the projects, the, the people in Congress who are pushing for it. Biotechnology is saving lives. It saved my life, and I have a feeling it's gonna save many, many, many lives in years to come.